one revolution. Look, Marquardt's on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast. I'm Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Tonight I have with me Jennifer, the Mafia Wars loot lady. Uh, Jana is taking the night off, and Chester, well, he shows whenever. So, what's going on, Jen? Not a whole lot. It's been kind of a nice weekend with nothing new in the game. True from a game perspective, but it has not been a nice weekend from where I come from in Kansas. Oh, yeah, I heard you had had, a little... We actually had a tornado that came through here and came through most of Kansas. And I think they said something to the effect of that that tornado was up and down almost a 200-mile distance, I think is what I heard. Fortunately, we've had no fatalities as a result of... Um, what happened, but we've Were definitely had some building scared? Um, my, well, my little guy slept through it all. He had no clue. My, he sleeps through everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, my eldest seemed to be doing okay with it. My middle guy seemed to be the one that was a little bit more nervous about the whole situation. You know, fortunately, it didn't come close enough to us. There was a little rumblings of the house, but I don't know if that was just, in fact, some, you know, outside the range of the tornado my in-laws it seemed to go as i understand it just over the top of their house so uh, and there was tremendous amount of tree damage and stuff in their neighborhood and we've had buildings and stuff in town that have lost roofs and you know collapsed and things like that so it's been it's been pretty bad there was a trailer park hit which just seems the stereotypical path of a tornado yeah, but, they um, search for those. Yeah, but uh, fortunately, like I said, no one was hurt. Or at least were you no all one was in, killed. Were you all in the bathtub with the mattress on top of you? No, I was. we were in an inner hallway. <laughs> yeah. That's how the rebels do it. Yeah. Well, that's what they say. They say get in a cast, <laughs> cast iron bathtub and then you put a mattress. Well, but, I'm glad you're all safe. Yep, yeah, so... But then today was a nice enough day, but yeah, it made for a long night because it was like one path and then there was, they were talking about more storms coming up from the south in Oklahoma, so we weren't sure, but yep, so yeah, everything's okay there. Trying to think what else was going on in the world of Spockholm, Uh, we've had an update to the mission crew link that now lets you save your links, so if you've not already cut and paste them out somewhere where you can get back to them again to get those begging part links out there. You've got an option to load them back up and get to them, which is kind of nice. I have a question about that. Uh-huh. Now, when you, I haven't used it because my property is fully upgraded, but um, when you save them and then you reuse them, does it generate a Mafia Wars type post or is it the spockon.me link? If they've been saved but they haven't been activated, then if you activate them for the first time, then they'll generate the standard Mafia Wars post. Okay. If you click on the option that says post a wall, what it does is it just creates a basically a um, a set of links with your uh, Spock on Me link address. Okay. So it's not the same request being like the Mafia. It doesn't look like the Mafia Wars request, right? No. Okay. No. But that's nice because then, then you don't have to do all that copying and pasting, and that saves clicks. Right. Yeah, and that it just makes it a little bit more convenient to repost your links to the to the page instead of having to find them somewhere else where you yeah. saved them out. I'd normally save them out to like a sticky note or something like that, and then paste them back into you know a, a new wall post or into one of our groups where that at least lets you just click one button and it's right out on your wall. Um, now the downside, I suppose, if there is, and uh, would be that if you post them to your wall that way then only if people see it on your wall or your stream would they click on them to go to them where there's a lot of you know auto wall scrubbers and stuff like that that would go out and actually find posts and get to them based on the types of posts they are so like um you know if it hit your wall with the the true uh, Mafia Wars post for help needing help with your parts some of those scrubbers will catch them and you know act on them right away where that wouldn't necessarily happen in this case. I mean, it wouldn't be automatic because they wouldn't know. Um, uh-huh. A possibility that it just kind of hit me might be resurrecting the Getnator to find um, 
you know, those links in some way to be able to uh, get them off the stream so that you'd have options to click on other people's uh, and finding them in one place as opposed to having to go hunt them down through the, the stream feeds. You know, the other might be to add it to like something like Stream Scanner. Or what about the Linkinator to get the links? Well, if you well, ever bring that back, like for with the war links and all that, you can still use it for, right? Well, that would be just for the generation of them, but since the mission crew already does the generation, there's probably oh, okay. not sense in it, any sense in adding it to the Linkinator. The other thing that I was thinking, though, is that if we added it to the Stream Scanner in some way, that it would search all wall posts, but right now we only have the Stream Scanner only looks through Mafia Wars game posts. Um, and, you know, something that's a little bit different about the stream scanner in comparison to, like I say, the wall scrubbers, you know, the stuff that when it hits your Facebook wall, it immediately gets captured is that, you know, in our case, it's a delayed reaction. There's not an immediate, uh, it doesn't happen immediately when those things hit the wall. There's this sort of afterthought or, you know, after action. So you do a scan, it tells you all the results and then you click on the results. And so you're not really getting a real time, uh, immediate, you know, catch of the links as they're coming across the stream, like some of the other things that are out there. Yeah, it's <laughs> not the bots that are stealing all the war posts. Yeah, it's and not. That's what Zynga wants to stop. And this is after, so your stream scanner posts would be posts that were probably missed. They're either missed a lot of times, and that's true, uh -huh. or sometimes that they're there and, you know, they're just, they've been, or that they've, they've been picked up by other scanners and they'd still, you click on them and they'd be dead links. That's, you mm -hmm. know, a downside of it is you're getting all the links, but the reality is they may not be all active. And I think that's it for us. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think we've had anything new since last time. There were a couple of little quirky things when we added the, um, the plus five to the level up promotion uh, where we give people the option to be able to expend all their skill points in one shot which should be something just Zynga would add and we can pull it back out of the toolbar but uh, we have had a couple of instances where it gets flip-flopped on people where the plus five comes before the plus one and it doesn't happen all the time I've noticed now I've a couple of times when I've leveled up I've seen the pop-up Yes, Ike, I see the pop up every now and then. And then, uh, and it was. I thought you were stockpiling it. I'm still stockpiling them, but I get the pop up that tells me I've made a level. So it showed up with mine in the correct order. So it's not affecting everybody the same way. Well, so it's a little squirrely. If you have less than five, you wouldn't see it at all. Right. But I'm or talking, are you saying it's reversing well, you, the order for no, everybody? No. Okay. Uh, so, no. Everybody gets it because you're going to get five when you level. Right. So you're going to see the plus five to expend every, all that energy or stamina or whatever all in one shot on any given item. But what I'm saying is, you know how it's a column of plus ones and a column of plus fives? Mm -hmm. Some reason it's flip-flopping them on some people where the plus five column is coming before the plus one. Oh, okay. And it's, it's an awkward anomaly, and we're not exactly sure what's triggering that for some people, but it is. And it may have something to do with the way the page loads or whatever else. So it's, it's kind of trivial. It's not a big deal, but it's an aesthetic problem. You know, that there's some people that are going to say, well, wait a minute. Why do I have a plus five button before I have a plus one? Oh, they already have. Yeah. In fact, that's how we knew that got pushed out, because people started saying, why did Zanga reverse the order? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the problem, and we'll figure out what exactly was going on with it. But that's what that's what was happening to it. It was reversing the order, and they may have already fixed it. I haven't looked at it in a little bit, but um, I just wanted to make everybody aware that that was an issue we faced. And that's it, I think. Oh, I have one more thing. What was that? Um, for the your mission crew link. Mm -hmm. Now that it does all this fancy stuff with properties. And it no longer does Mission Crew or Chicago and Brazil Crew. Is it possible to rename it so it matches what it actually does? Or do uh, you like to go with history? Like that's what it was originally called, so that's what it's going to be. Uh, I don't know. I, it's you know part. I guess it doesn't matter. We could do it both ways. The Propinator. <laughs> propinator. Most people have gotten so used to it being called yeah, Mission they Crew. Have. That it's almost like you didn't want to change it for fear that people then uh -huh. wouldn't understand that the prop, you know, whatever. It's just funny that it was named the Mission Crew Link after the Mission Crew and then the Chicago Crew, and now it doesn't do either. Right. 
Yeah. That's just something that always, it doesn't bug me, but it just, Call I it always search prop, for a different line. name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a discussion. I, I think we just kind of. Or maybe was, have a contest and see what member of the community can come up with the most creative name. Yeah. Fundamentally, it had the same yeah. functionality as what Mission Crew did have. And then we just no longer had a need for that because then you put the ask button that you just click on and it automatically produces the post. So it became less necessary to do that. Or you can gift blast your request for uh, crew or, um, yeah, crew in the three different cities now. Did we talk about the last show, the the now that they yeah we did the yeah that they made the bandits available on all the cities now and they expanded that crew the Q yeah the crew Q that's a yeah. tongue twister and they need to increase the number of people that can help you on your po posts that you re generate yeah because if you have 32 positions why can only 10 people help you but then again you need 623 parts to upgrade your property, but only 10 can help you. They need to expand those limits. Yep. And they would get more clicks. More clicks. Click, click, click. click and click. I, I think it's past the, I think these properties are well past their significance in raising the, the daily active users. I wish they would just tell us what they're really trying to accomplish and then let the players as a whole come up with a solution to how to get them what they want, but still not be as offensive as like what they've been. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, we're pretty smart players and not, I'm not just talking about us, but I'm just talking about the community as a whole. And I think if Zynga said, look, here's our situation. We've got to generate, you know, activity on wall posts because here's what we need to do. And I think if nothing else, even if they said that and, you know, they required all of us, you know, every day to make a, you know, a wall post about, you know, I'm playing Mafia Wars today or something like that, and this is all hypothetical, then I think we'd all do it if we could avoid we'd click all the, on it, just, if, yeah. yeah, to avoid all the other nonsense that we have to tolerate within the game, you know, like the properties, you know, that obviously it gives them the feed post they're looking for, but then what's the value, I mean, what value are they getting out of that? I mean, I just think there's other ways to generate that kind of activity that they can, that we can help as a player base, help them achieve, and then not have to, to tolerate, you know, one more dang property that we have to upgrade to level 15. And people have quit over these properties. And uh -huh. there's a boycott group. I mean, that should just clue them in that this is not, you know, good for player retention. Right. I'm sure they know. I mean, it's, they would have to really be ignorant to not know that these aren't well liked. Right. So I don't know. I just, like I said, I just wish they'd, they'd, they'd give us a, an outline of what they're trying to accomplish and then let us go from there. Well, maybe they will in the pack. Yeah. I mean, they kind of let on a little bit of what they're looking for with some things. Hmm. And then I guess if, if we knew as a community. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's all I've got. So what's going on in the, Things you noticed in the game. <laughs> that, things I've noticed. Um, That's going to be your new segment. Yeah. The things that Jen noticed. <laughs> um, not too terribly much. It's I kind of like the new team's schedule. They don't seem to pile stuff on top of each other. Right. The only complaint I have is so far everything they've done has been copy-pasted things of things we've already had. But if it's out, you know, if they stagger it like they have been, then I don't mind. But we um, have a new secret district coming up. Um, Leonard found the server images of, you know, the job page that changes every time you level. Uh, like when you master a level and go to a new one, the job image will change. Well, he found those four images on the servers, and it has like a rock band theme and for the last two secret districts, they changed the banner image links mm -hmm. to include the name of the boss. So it was almost impossible to find them unless you knew, you know, what the, the name boss of the was. Boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, you know, we tried looking and it just kind of gave up. But um, a girl named Donna found the image um, after we had posted these images and Mark Allen found some loot items. It was funny because he was just guessing based on the pictures Leonard found. Mm hmm. 
So we had enough information to make a post, but we still didn't know what it was called. And then Donna found the banner and it's called Metal Mafia. 